टॉपिक्स ऑफ सोशल साइंस एंड दीज आर जियोग्राफी डेमोग्राफी इकोलॉजी एंड सोसाइटी आफ्टर कंप्लीटली दिस लेक्चर यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड दीज टेन टॉपिक्स द फर्स्ट वन इज जियोग्राफी द सेकेंड वन इज डेमोग्राफी द थर्ड वन इज पॉपुलेशन एस्टिमेट्स द फोर्थ वन इज डिटर्मिनेंट्स ऑफ पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ द फिफ्थ वन इज द ग्रोथ ऑफ पॉपुलेशन ओवर टाइम द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ काउंटिंग द मालथूसियन थ्यूरी पॉपुलेशन एंड मीन्स ऑफ सब्जिस्टेंस द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ऑप्टिमल पॉपुलेशन एंड द लास्ट टॉपिक विच वी विल कवर इन दिस लेक्चर इज द क्वेश्चन ऑफ पॉपुलेशन क्वालिटी आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग दिस लेक्चर यू विल बी एबल टू आंसर वट इज जियोग्राफी एंड यू कैन आइडेंटिफाई द मेजर कंट्रीज ऑन ए मैप ऑफ ए वर्ल्ड you will also uh, comprehend the concept of demography and you can also explain why many people be believe population growth is a problem you can also state the malthusian theory and explain how technology and it, <coughs> and, <coughs> and how technology can affects affect its predictions Uh, fourth one you will also be able to understand the concept of ecology and uh, how the interaction of geography demography and environment shape the ecology uh, you can also explain how culture and environment interact uh, and uh, you will also explain how geography population culture and the natural environment interact and affect the ecological balance of a society the last thing you will be able to comprehend is the popul is the pollution <coughs> geography in 1988 the national geographic society commissioned a study called geography an international gallup survey it tested 10820 people in 9 countries on their ability to identify 16 spots on a map of the world citizens of the united states could identify about half the places but citizens aged 18 to 24 could identify fewer than 7 people in sweden did the best in the early 2000s the situation had not changed as a follow up to national geography roper conducted a survey on <coughs> geographic literacy among young adults and found that only 37% could find iraq on a map this tells how people are aware about the geography and even if we conduct any survey in pakistan there would be a 30 20 to 30% people Uh, who who can identify a specific country on the world map so you th- this is very important topic and uh, you have to comprehend this topic uh, completely geography what is it geography is the study of places and the relationships between people and their environment geographer explored both the physical properties of earth surface and the human societies spread across it geography <laughs> geography can also be explained that it is a social science focusing on space spatial interaction of humans and their environment why are cities located where they are and how does environment shape culture why do only certain areas develop geographic literacy is also low in pakistan this is a world map and here we can identify the seven con- continents and the five oceans and uh, we can also identify different countries in each continent and uh, here we can identify that uh, this is pakistan this is india this is china this is afghanistan and this is iran this is a uh, africa this is russia and this is australia 
this is south america that is uh, north america and that is the part of the russia this can also be explained more in detail uh, this is uh, these are the seven continents and uh, five oceans uh, first continent uh, is north america second is south america third one is europe fourth one is africa fifth one is asia and uh, sixth one is australia and uh, <coughs> that is a antarctica seventh one is antarctica that is located here uh when we talk about the oceans the first one is arctic ocean second one is pacific ocean third was is atlantic ocean arctic ocean is also here uh, and the part of the atlantic ocean is also places uh, between the south america and africa this is south southern ocean this is indian ocean and that is a pacific ocean uh, this is the geography of pakistan and uh, here we can observe that uh, uh, these are the rivers and these are the cultivatable areas these are the hilly areas and these are this is the balochistan and um, it's uh, also a hilly area uh how many countries can you identify on this map if we uh, if i give this task to you then you have to study this from the uh, world map and then you should identify these countries demography demography is the study of number and characteristics of a population it also concerned with the factors that may be causing their numbers to increase or decrease these factors include matters such as the state of health care and the sanitation the extent of uh, extent to which birth control is predicted and the availability of food and other resources demographer is classify and count people on the basis of the following characteristics these characteristics uh, can be age gender marital status occupation income nationality and race these are the seven characteristics characteristics on the basis of uh, which we can classify our population and this is the field of the demography why population is increasing or decreasing how is population distributed among regions what are characteristics of populations these are the some important questions which are which are answered in the field of the demography <coughs> if we uh, describe demography demography concern the distribution of people among countries and regions and the different kinds of people who make up any given population including physical characteristics mental characteristics and cultural characteristics <coughs> when we talk about the world population then we can observe from here that the world population is going to be a 7 billion and uh, today the births are 2 lakh 97968 and this is the birth this year and this is the death this year and that is the population growth this year and the, the population growth today this this is the data which is taken from the worldometer uh, on 24th march 2020 you can also observe the uh, more detailed statistics from this world site website this is the percentage of the population around uh, <coughs> around the globe and the uh, we can observe here that the china is contributed 18.5% of total world population uh while the india is the second largest country and uh, having the 17.9% population of the world 
US is the fourth largest and uh, having the 4.3% of the population Indonesia is uh, having 3.5% Brazil having 2.6% and Pakistan is also having 2.6% and from here we can observe that uh, the Pakistan is the fifth largest country according to the population population growth how population is growing population growth is dependent on some factors and these are known as the determinants of population growth and uh, here we can observe that there are two main determinants and uh, these two main determinants is uh, our first one is the death rate and the second one is the birth rate and uh, in few years the death rate become lower worldwide in recent years and the most important factor determining the world population growth is the birth rate and uh, the other thing the europe and the united states birth rates are declining in recent periods while the some other factors such as social and economic forces are also shaping the world population and the acceptance of birth control and the children not economic assets these kind of uh, thoughts are prevailing in the world and the population growth is affecting this is the data showing the 20th populous countries of the world and from here we can observe that the Pakistan is at, at sixth number. The first populous country is China, second is India, third is USA, fourth one is Indonesia, fifth one is Brazil and the sixth one is Nigeria. And uh, from uh, here, from the right uh, graph we can observe uh, the growth in world population from 1950 to 2050 and in four eras in 1950, 1975, 2010 and estimated population in 2050. And uh, here we can observe that Asia is Asia population is growing rapidly and in 2050 it would be 5,000 million mm, people in Asia and the North America, Latin America and Europe is not uh, growing as much as the Africa and Asia. <coughs> World population has grown rapidly since 1880s. There are two factors. The first one is the decline in death rate due to the better sanitation and health care and the second one is increase in food and manufactured goods. Increased standard of living for many. Unequal population growth since late 80s in developed versus underdeveloped countries and the population growth in the future. Uh, this graph showing the population growth uh, here on x-axis is the time in years and uh, on the y-axis here is growth rate and uh, the graph showing the past and predicted rates of change of world population and here we can observe that in the past less developed countries population were growing rapidly uh, with respect to the average world population and the more developed countries were having the low population and after that overall population of the world uh, growth is declining and uh, after 20s after uh, 2020 we can observe that this growth is becoming stable now comes to the Pakistan population and the total population of Pakistan till date is 220 million. These figures on the y-axis are in millions. These are the number of people in millions. And uh, on the x-axis this is the uh, time in years that is into 